The Lace Hour here with I'm Third Movement. I want to bring a video to you guys. Actually, let's get into a quick word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for all you have done. We thank you for all you're going to do. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your creation. We thank you for the precious Holy Spirit. Father God, we thank you for you loving us. We can only know you, Father God, because you know us. You love us. We pray right now that the listener hears what the Spirit wants them to hear. And I say what the Spirit wants me to say. Father God, I pray that I'm obedient to what you want. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so um, actually we're going to just great, get right into the Word. Um, the reason why I'm doing this teaching is because I think that uh, if you didn't see my last video, go in the description below. It'll be the um, first um, video in there. And it's talking about um, the power that we have in being a righteous man. And um, this video, in a sense, it should be a part two because this is going to tell you how to become a righteous man, right? So um, we're, going, we're going into, to, to, into um, Colossians 2. But before we get into Colossians 2, I just want to quick um, take a look at Colossians um, chapter... Um, um, yeah, I'm sorry, we're going to be doing... We're going to be breaking down Colossians chapter 3. But before that, I want to go in chapter 2 real quick. And, and, and hear what the um, word got to, has to say in, in 2. It says in, in chapter 2 and verse 4. And this I say, least men should beguile you with enticing words. For through, for through the, the for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit. Um, join and behold your order and the steadfast of your um, faith in Christ. As ye have therefore received Jesus Christ, so walk in him, rooted, built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. It says, Beware at least any man spoil you with through um, philosophies and vain deceits, after the tradition of man, after rudiments of the world, uh, and, not, um, not, and not after Christ. For in him... Talking about Christ, all of the God uh, in Him, all of the fullness of the Godhead, and you are complete, which is the head of principal of all principalities and power. I love that. The, re the reason why we started with that is to show you that when we, we when we get rooted up and built in Christ, when we start walking right, we have a power. Right, we have a power that's going to give us power over all principalities, and um, get, we have a power over all um, all other powers, right? So we know um, um, if we go into the spirit realm, or if we understand the spirit realm, that the enemy is the print. The Bible calls the devil or the enemy the prince of the air, right? And Many people find that to be a little scary. Or many people, especially if you don't understand the spirit, the spirit realm, this this may this may build a little fear, or maybe even tell, um, build a little unbelief. But that's that's not so. So once we get rooted and built it up and built up in Christ, we have the power of the Godhead, right? That's the Trinity for our word. We have the power of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, and, it's, and he's not giving us his power not to use it. But so often we don't get built up in Christ. We don't get built up. We, 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 say, we think that if we say a prayer and, 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 and it's, uh, we're saved, right? Um, we, we, say, we, we think that if we, uh, I believe in Jesus. I believe that he's the son of um, God. I believe that he's my savior. I believe he died and rose. And that's enough. No, it's not enough. Because what happens is there also has to be a discipleship happen, being built and rooted up in Christ. Because you, because you say a prayer and find salvation doesn't mean you get power. You know, a lot of people go to church on Sundays and say they believe in Christ and say that prayer. But then in another Sunday, about, about, a month, about two, three months later, they back up in the, in, in, the, in the pulpit again saying, I believe in Jesus. And it, like it didn't take the first time. It took the first time. But what happened is you didn't get the power. The scriptures, I, I love that. The scripture says that um, because somebody um, come to faith doesn't mean our job done. Because the enemy is, is waiting to stay. Still, to still that 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 person that 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 confess because we understand it has to be more. It's, it's more than confessing, 
Right? Confession, confessing it is, is only halfway. You only halfway there. You find salvation, but you can also get derailed. Uh, you can also maybe even, I'm not going to, I don't believe in, I, don't, I, I, I believe that once you say that prayer and Jesus um, saved you, you saved. But I also believe that there has to be a sanctification. There has to be a time of building, a time of being rooted in. It has to be. It has to be more than just a prayer. If that's the case, why did Jesus come and spend and spend all that time with the with the disciples? All he had to do was show them one time that they believe that, that, that he believed. Matter of fact, when when God said, "This is my son." When, when Jesus was getting baptized and the spirit came on him like a dove and God said, this is my son and who, who I'm well pleased. All they had to do is say then, okay, I believe in Jesus and then go their own way if that's the case. But no, it, 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 it was time after that where it was with Jesus and they had to be discipled. So what this video was saying is, is, is putting emphasis on discipleship, but also putting emphasis on you Say okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna live like Jesus, right? It, it, it's the whole idea of repent. The whole idea of turn. Repent doesn't mean stop doing it. Repent means turn altogether. So if if I was addicted to porn. It doesn't mean just stop um stop looking at porn. No, it's, it says turn again, turn away from turn from all sexual sin. Not just the sexual sin that I'm in. All sexual sin. Right? So it's a picture of, 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 of making a 360 turn away and turning to the Father. Turning to God. Turning to Jesus. Being rooted and built up in here. In Him. And after you be, get built up and rooted in Him, you're going to become a warrior. And you're going to be going out there. And you're going to enter a battlefield where you're going to see, you're going to want to see lives change. I, I don't understand this Christianity we live in where no one, no one wants to see the life change. Right? Nobody want to see people come to Jesus. They want to come to Jesus and then um, and, and say, okay, well, I'm, I'm with Jesus now, so everything is going to be all right. Or I'm with Jesus now, and if things that are not all right, he's going to make them all right. When a lot of times when we come to Jesus, that battle just begin because the only way we can get molded how we want, how God wants us to be molded is for us to be broken. It's for us to be be shattered into pieces and he rebuild us. And sometimes it's not pretty. Sometimes we can not we can want it but fight against our own rebuilding rebuilding. Sometimes God can throw us down and we shatter into pieces and, and we don't want to be brought back together. Sometimes we get this is the word of God right here. Some, so sometimes we get used to being broken. And, 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 and the only way we can get over that, that brokenness, the only way we can get past and become, become warriors for Christ, because it's not for us to get saved and, and get a lot of money. That may happen. God bless you if it happens for you. It, it's not for us to get saved and everything to be all right. They may, that may happen, and God bless you. But the reason why we are to get saved is... So we can have our relationship with God, but then we can go out and go. We can we can build other people up. We can seek and save. So I, I, I've talked a lot. So let's get into the Word of God. Um, and um, what I'm going to do is just read it, and then we're going to break it down. It says, If then be risen with Christ, seek those things that are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on the things above, not the things on this earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hidden in Christ. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your men, your members, I'm sorry, mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, in, in, inordinate, affections, evil, uh, cons, 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 <laughs> I can't say this, cons, con, con, concupiscence um, and covetousness with which is which is idolatry for which um, for which things seek the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience in in the, um, we're in seven 
and the which ye also walked sometimes when you um, lived in them. But now ye also put off all um, put off all things uh, all the um, all these anger, wrath, malice, um, blasphemies, filthy communications out of your mouth. Lie not to one another. Seek that ye have um, put off the old man with his deeds. We intend. And have uh, and and have put on the new man, who which is renewed in in the knowledge after the image of the created uh, of of the one that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, um, circumcision or uncircumcision, barbarian or, or sinneth, bond nor free, Christ is all and in all. Put on um, put therefore, um, put on therefore as the elect of God, holy. And be uh, and beloved, bowels of men, uh, bowels of mercy, kind, um, kindness, humble, um, uh, humble, um, uh, humbleness in the, of mind, meek, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against uh, any, even as um, Christ forgave you, also, um, so also um, do ye. Above all, but above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Let the peace of God rule, rule in your heart, to um, to the which ye also are called in the in one body, and ye be thankful. When sixteen, let the world let the word of Christ dwell in you uh, in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and and and, and abolishing and uh, and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Singing with grace in your heart, to singing with grace in your heart to the Lord, and whatever ye do in, in word or deed, do all in the name of um in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the uh, giving thanks to God and by the Father. So we we we're gonna we're gonna cut it there. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's let's keep going. We're in eighteen. Wives, submit yourself unto your husband, as it is fit in the Lord. Husband, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is the um, this is well pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, promote not your child to anger, lest um, they become discouraged. Servant, obey all things your master according to the flesh, not with uh, eye service as a man pleases, but with singleness of the heart and, and fearing God. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and unto unto men, knowing that of the Lord he shall receive the uh, rewards of the inheritance. For ye served the for ye served the Lord. But so you so you, I'm sorry, for ye served the Lord um the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of person. I love that. There's no respect of person. So um. That that's the reading of the, of the word. Now we're gonna we're gonna break it down. Um, the the word says a lot. So we, we, we get to, we get to see the man. We we get to talk about how how the man should act when he gets saved. Then we also gonna get to talk about how the man should act in his relationship with his wife. How the wife should act when she gets out of the woman should act when she gets saved. And how the wife should treat her husband after they get saved. This is probably as a Christian. Who walk this everyday life? This is probably one of the most important chapters that we have in our life as a weapon of of walking right, walking in the way that God wants us to walk, walking in holiness, walking in righteousness. But the 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 one thing that we have to have, and and I love this, and I build my ministry on this. Uh, one thing we have to have is love, man. I can't. I I I don't. I, I don't understand why we don't get a grasp of the power of love. And I think the reason why we don't really grasp the power of love because we connect love to relationships, right? When when I say love, you 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 immediately think of your wife, or you think of your girlfriend, or you think of of, of, of even your side chick if you got one. Uh, dude, I don't know why you have a side chick, man. But anyways, um, so these are the relationships we think of instead of thinking of, okay, I, when, when I think of love, I want to think of God, because the Bible says God is love, then I want to think of, of my neighbors and how to love them better. So um, go to video two. It'll be in the description for loads.